Robert. And I'm Vanessa. And I'm Travis. And we are late to the party, and we are here for another edition of Better Late Than, than Never. Boo, 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 oh, boo, I boo, forgot boo. the line. And we had an awesome <laughs> run of movies, six movies total, where we went through the AFI's top 100, threw out random numbers. We ended it on a high note. Last week we had very Titanic. Yes, it was as Titanic. It was her. just Titanic, <laughs> essentially. Because Titanic is great. Oh, you kind of lost your, uh, you, you lost your, your, your shit a little bit, Vanessa. Basically, uh, if people nobody, were really happy with it. Yeah, but if you don't know, Titanic is like my all-time favorite movie ever. Like when it came out, it was just mesmerizing, and I watched it every day for a year when it came out on VHS. True. After war, after school, which is kind of an accomplishment. I would say, and I'm actually pretty proud of it, like every time I come home. Or a compulsion. I guess, but like, <laughs> I would do my homework and everything and then mom was like, uh, and then I would just, you know, pop it in so much so that we had to buy like that uh, rewind uh, that you would just put, you know, the She one? loves it so much, she's still talking about it and can't stop. We're going to have to do a whole Spilling video over. on it. Spilling over. Anyways, I love it. but yes. <laughs> but now, that AFI Top 100 subject, that theme, we will get back to that. We'll that throw out more one. random numbers. Um, yes, it was fantastic. Uh, so we will definitely, thank you, Eric Grebner, uh, we will definitely yes. get to the AFI Top 100 once again. Uh, now, though, we have a new theme coming our way for the next six weeks. Travis, what is it? Well, this is a theme. It was suggested by, we'll call her possibly a fan. She should be a fan. Vanessa, you was you. Oh. Many, many, many minutes ago. There you go. It's time to go through it. So okay. we are doing animation. Oh, animation domination. But, but animation that is not Disney. I'm okay with that, too. All right. Maybe we'll get a little Thumbelina in there. We'll see. What'd you call me? I called you Thumbelina. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's Anastasia. start off. Oh, I'm ready for this. Okay. Keep on going. What are we going to do now, Travis? <laughs> We're going to watch this animation trailer. Okay. And you guys Maybe it is Anastasia. probably have seen this film. Anastasia. Um, it has a beautiful song that Anastasia. shows up in multiple formats and multiple genres of and film and television culture. and pop okay. culture sure so uh let's hit the space bar anastasia i know it just based off of that oh, of course this holiday season universal pictures they go to america a special motion picture experience The first animated feature film presented by Steven Spielberg. An American Tale. The story of one family's journey to America. Because there are no cats in America. Their son. Lights. Who got lost along the way. Fievel. Fievel. Number five. An American Tale, a Don Bluth film. See, yeah, uh, American Tale, that, that is definitely uh, one that is the first, in my eyes, of the Don Bluth tearjerkers. Oh, man, did I cry so much watching every single damn Don Bluth film that came out. <laughs> I even drool just a little bit right now. But yeah. Um, yeah, so American Tale was one of those two that was like a, a beloved one that I really, really loved that wasn't Disney. Right. And just the characters that they have. Um, I, yeah, I cried too. Basically. It's, the whole it's a good movie. However, for me, this is a great film, but I like Five Goes, Goes West. West better. <laughs> Much better. But again, this like you said, it started everything for Don Bluth and Correct. all of the other cartoons, which we may or may not see in the upcoming weeks. Well, that's the thing too, uh, when it comes to Don Bluth, he had a style, very much like Disney does. Uh, you can tell a Don Bluth film when you're looking at it, 
uh, the animation style, there's just a darker storytelling to it. All Dogs Go to Heaven, um, you ended up getting that uh, amazing and powerful and heart-wrenching secret of Nim. Oh, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's just, it, it's, it, okay. it's its own embodiment. And in fact, he even came made movies for Disney as well later on um, that are just very similar to his style. But of course, they didn't really have that darker nature that you found so, in his films early on. So... With the trailer, though, right. I would say that they focused heavily on the fact, like, Steven Spielberg doing right. a first, you know, like, first animated, animated movie. movie. Yeah. And so it's it seems like, like he directed it. Right. And, it, and it was like... Really, he just produced it. Exactly. And it's just like his name is what I feel like they're trying to sell in the movie. Of and, course. In the course. trailer instead of just the movie itself, which makes sense. Uh, considering Steven Spielberg is Steven Spielberg, so. right? Steven Spielberg's Ready Player One. Yeah, I mean, when he I was does a, sell. when I was a child and I went to Universal Studios for the first time, one of the most uh, you know big memorable moments for me was uh, the the live stage show for Five O Goes West that they had with Five O and all that the you know <laughs> actors and stuff on stage doing their thing, mm -hmm. and I even got a picture with uh, Five O wearing the cowboy hat. And it was like a big moment for me. I, I love American Tale. I do love Five O Goes West a little bit more just because it did take that story and and for a sequel. Well, for me, I think it was because I was a little bit older and I appreciated it more. Yeah, but and John movie, Cleese is amazing oh, too. Yeah. But this movie, I, I love it because with the song too, you know, so out there. Out there. Out there. Uh, so and that's a tearjerker. And when I saw that on Community, right, I lost my shit and I was crying. <laughs> oh, I was yeah. crazy. I was like. Uh, Danny Glover, Donald Glover, it's crazy. Well, and it's it's not just that song. I mean, he had the tendency to pull the heartstrings in many movies. Absolutely. I think so much so that we liked it that we were going to get a cat and name him Fifel. Yeah, not Tiger. <laughs> not Tiger, yeah, not Tiger, but yeah, Fifel. Fifel, to be ironic. Um, but yeah, the cat looked like Tiger, um, but yeah, we were going to call the cat Fifel. Uh, I love Tiger, though, too, and I love, um, I can't think of his name right now, who does Don DeLuise. Yeah, Don DeLuise yeah. as Tiger. I just, the way that Don, like, his voice mm -hmm. is so distinct, and Which, it was just one of the things yeah. when I was growing up that I, it resonated with me, so, like, every time I would hear that name, I'd be like, oh, that's Tiger, but Which I wouldn't know exactly who it was. Mr. Bluth has used him in other movies as well. Of course, yeah. So, uh, let me ask the question. Based off this trailer, would you see this movie? Um, if I was a child at the time, uh, yeah. yes. As an adult, no, because it yeah, didn't really show us anything. Yeah, as a child at the anything. time, sure, because it's like a cartoon movie. Like, oh, that looks like fun. Because I'm like, but like as a really? child, as a as an adult, yes, because it says Steven Spielberg. Okay. I, I agree. I think it'd be the other way around for me. As a kid, I don't think I'd want to see it because it's dark. Yeah. The trailer is very dark. It doesn't tell me really what's going on. It's about a mouse who loses its family. Like, that's all I need. As a kid, why do I... That's terrifying. Why as a child, that's terrifying. It's terrifying. Frightening. I don't want to go see scary, scary things as I want to see how he's going to get out of it. I want to see Hurdles when I was a kid. I want to see how he gets out of it. But as an adult, I think it sounds like an intriguing story. I still remember vividly the trailer for Land Before Time. Another Don Blue film. Another tear jerk. <laughs> Another like, yeah, heart wrenching uh, moment. I think Steven Spielberg even produced that too. So. Probably. Either way, yeah. Five Old Goes West, not the one that we're watching, <laughs> but American <laughs> Tale. Nice go. Yeah, you like. That? Have you guys seen American Tale? What do you think of it? Is this a cartoon that you guys remember growing up and watching and just saying it was amazing and loving the sequel as well? And I, I only saw the first two. I know there's like seven or eight now, which I haven't seen any of them. So I don't know about That's that. also the issue with a lot of those films, including like Back All Dogs day, Go to Heaven, yeah. Land Before Time. They had uh, always had the yeah, straight to DVD yeah. movies. Disney was guilty of doing that yeah. as well, you know, just pumping out as many as you can. So either way, thank you guys for watching our reaction to An American Tale. Fievel ended up becoming like the primary name out of that movie, but American Tale ended up being kind of like the overshadowing subtitle, even though it's the primary title in this movie. Yeah. But thank you guys. You can like and subscribe. And you can do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, start us. All the social networking. You can join us. You know where they are. Kicking the party. Feel the party. Keep the party going. And our Patreon gets us where we need to go. Thank you so much, Travis. And thank you guys. And if this is a theme you like, I will always take suggestions, and we got another thing we, I'm going to need ideas for. So uh, keep them coming. Until next time, now, now it's time, time to say goodbye. goodbye. This party's, this party's over. 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 over.